Hello, I am Fjallsback and welcome to uh, The Lords of the Rings, the living card game. Right, we have tackled the first uh, quest and I guess we're tackling the second one. We have to unlock it though in the vault. I have plenty of valor points, which is money technically, I believe. So we have done other cup, other cup. So that is not the thing. All right, so we go in the city of webs and that. Didn't happen. That was the press campaigns. And unlock you there in the city of webs. Right, and then it thinks about it for a while. And we're unlocked. Alright. I imagine this was actually all unlocked as I. Uh, bought a pre-order pack thingy here and uh, would have gotten all the stuff for uh, that the game had involved for free type thingy but I guess I have enough points to unlock all of it anyway so it'll be fine right let's play and head on in uh, shadows reaches the area I thought this was the particular quest thing so I guess both are here so do in in the city of webs. I will just go with the standard deck. I haven't actually looked at creating new decks. We'll do that at a later date, I guess, and see if we can handle this with the standard deck or not. Spiders flinch back, but the huge female stands her ground, glaring down at the insolent orc commander. For a long moment, there is complete silence. Finally, she chitters quietly at one of the nearby spiders. The minion moves quickly into the lair to drag Bilbo's cocoon towards the gateway. As the spider drags the last cocoon before Uthak, a small, skinny creature flies out of the shadows, screeching, Precious. like a dying animal. It wraps his arms around Uthak's thick neck and bites his right ear. Black gore spills, and Uthak's furious roar joins the creature's tinny wail. The screams echo through the trees and cobwebs. As you make your way through the dense forest, a sudden shriek is heard from afar. Praying that hobbits are incapable of so pitiful a sound, you move quickly to investigate its source. The forest soon shows signs of giant spider webs. At first, only a few thick strands are seen between canopy and trunk, but the webbing quickly grows denser. Before long, the sticky ropes are thick enough to block your path. About to hack away at the webbing, you sense a subtle shift in the shadows and glance up. Only a few feet above your head, the myriad glare of malicious eyes observe you. Mandibles drip with ichor. Bloated bodies tremble with anticipation. Ichor, they said for this word here. I would say ichor. Alright, ichor. I didn't know it was that, that was how it's pronounced. Right, learn something new. If by life or death I can save you, I will. Mine is the choice of Luthien. My axe is restless in my hands. Right, so we have two Rotherham Lancers. We have self-preservation, restore hit point. We don't need that very early on because we don't have we haven't taken any points of damage yet. Use a non-unique enemy to zero attack. This is gonna be useful. And warrior sword. Definitely useful as well. I can change them around. So if I click, say, this one, and the self preservation, do I change those two and then keep the other three? Is that how it works? That is how it works. Alright, we'll get a guard of the citadel and a western accent instead. That's fine, I guess. You must defeat the monstrous spiders. So what do we have here? Two and eight for Garlop. So your name, the Delop. 2 to 9, and we have to attack you first. 
all up three seven and then thick webs each ally enters place is exhausted okay that's gonna be a bit annoying can I actually un select that I'll deal with this first without going against this guy that does not seem to be the case all right so I think I will give well like other guy that came with us that was saved earlier all right so he's with us I think I'll give Gimli an axe no a sword actually Attack our guy here. We now have four points of damage. So we'll do that there. Right, I want this out of here, but I can. Well, you will attack. We can't really kill you outright. So, might as well get that done. Alright, well, look, he's dead. That's unfortunate. Guess we're working on the one with the lowest hit points. I serve no man. You haven't actually spent any points. There you are, treachery that's waiting for something to happen. And oh, I could have gone the guard out, and you would have to attack him first. Yeah, maybe should have done that. Well, Western accent, bring you in. The dwarves are upon you. And a force spider. Guard of the Citadel. I serve the steward of Gondor. That you will hit. And then we will hit you twice. Saron passes and we take care of one of the spiders. All right, next round. We will restore your hit point. Draw two cards, gonna be quite nice. Gains block. So how much block? One. Exactly. Right, it's gotta be you to attack first, I guess, because you will be dead first. So you go and say strike the big guy. You can take any damage because you have block. I see. So those are those wings there, maybe? No. Right. So. Four points of attack, it'll definitely kill you outright. Do we well we should maybe use the others and then you and a big guy here. Right, our guy down. Drop the cards. This is maybe a bit late to use. I was thinking to have someone with a bit more hit. Three is probably fine though. Right, draw two cards. Okay, or not. Yeah, I guess we are killing this thing. Or not. Well, we can do the range guy. Then, oh, okay. Then you actually do, do the points of damage, so I'm going to do Bring one. Down. Another spider. We have four points of damage. I guess we'll hit this guy first. Alright.
Guess she will give... Well, gonna give one hit point here instead. That way... Well, you'll die either way. I guess we will do it for Arvin and yourself. So these are free resources, but I can play both of them anyway. So should be a pr major problem. Guess one of you are gonna go down first. Have to attack you. So... Well, I actually don't have to with the ranged character. But I think I'm gonna do so anyway, though. Then you go down, alright. Okay, get rid of you. And we are thinned out as well, so take the big guy of theirs. Do three damage because you have a block thingy, so right I guess we're using you now. Just because we sat on it for a while. I should have played this a maybe a bit earlier. Uh, you get a shield, that should be okay. And just play both of those. Then we have three points of attack, you have two. But we won't actually get through because of the block. You don't have block, and you don't have block. Guess we're going this way first. And then Gimbler will take out this guy. Uh, yeah, you can restore health to yourself. Surge, which means you get to attack straight away. You can reduce one of their attacks to zero. Right, let's just surge. None shall enter. And guess we're attacking him. And then we're taking this time down. King Spider. Let's just immobilize your attack. King Spider with block, you are Ulop without block, so let's go for Ulop first up. No man. Fall, and I can spend this to give you another attack, might as well. I serve no man. Do you have block? Doesn't say you have block, but it feels like you do because we didn't do much damage. No draw cards at upkeep of this turn because you reached another threat level here. Uh, restore hit point. So maybe we shouldn't attack, but you should go and increase our fate instead. Right. Um. Yeah, you act like as if you're a block. Done and then I should finish putting down the last of the giant spiders. You turn to your companions to see them being wrapped quickly in cocoon spiders. With a cry of alarm, you charge to the rescue, but before being blocked by more incoming spiders, you must uh, rescue them quickly. Two of your heroes are captured by spiders. Select the heroes you wish to remain. Select the hero you wish to remain in play. Really? Yikes. 
Well, you hit the hardest. But I lost your action, though. I can't rescue him here, so I have to travel, basically. from bad to worse. You ventured into Mirkwood to free a captured hobbit, but now two of your party have themselves been captured. Unwholesome strands break apart with a snap as you cut and saw your way deeper into the lair. Mercifully, the web's denizens are either absent or preoccupied, for you catch only brief glances of hairy bodies moving through this world of pale webbing and gray-green murk. After slow and tiring progress, you come upon the nexus of the lair. An eldritch clearing devoid of webs, except for the huge sinister shape of a dead tree. Cocoons of many sizes hang from the branches like depraved fruit. A few of the cocoons are of the approximate size to your lost friends. One even moves fitfully. You move to open the cocoons, but the lair's inhabitants have finally noticed the intrusion into their midst. Clacking spiders soon surround you, strangely, in league with several orcs. Right, maybe I should have kept Arwen because you have the most uh, quest thingy, which was what we need to free characters here. Yeah, so that might have been a slight mistake. Well, you actually have two quests, same thingy here, right? So that's something and do you actually have a sword still yep and I can't equip a sword to you all right so forest spider and guard spider guess we'll have to attack you first might as well get that done then we lose our ally, you have four attack, this guy has an attack, but we want to take this one out first though. That was apparently an achievement called Defender, don't know what that does exactly, but there it is. Right, so we'll play you, restore to health. Welcome to Rivendell. Ah, uh, crud, that's a lot of damage, I can't... Well, I can equip you here. Uh, but I think I'll keep you. You? I don't know. The middle one seems the most lively. Okay, we're being swarmed here a bit. We have to attack you first, it says. So I can't do this. And get someone out of here. I cannot. Do you have a shield? You do not. So the question becomes, so play the shield first. Then someone will attack me, I attack back, and then this guy has been dead because you will attack here. Ah, ah. Let's play this guy and you attack this guy instead of the other guy, or I'll play the shield on you. The one quest. I'll play the shield here. That I can do. Okay. We attacked here. I see. But you're gonna do four damage, so doesn't matter, you'll kill this guy anyway. One hit point. One hit point. That's gonna be tricky. Right, so what was this? Restore two health and then ready them. Okay, that's quite ha handy. And this. I gain one threat every time I play a card. 
Right, so this was not the character we were looking for, unfortunately. But we will have to play a card. And ready you. Hashling spiders. Okay, so which one is the most dangerous one that I want to attack here? So three points of damage to you, you strike for a lot. Saron gains a resource, but that's about it. Then here, Hashling Spider, strike for one. I think we'll work on the big guy. Got an axe hand. Which means... Do one damage to every ally, great. Which means we can play another sword. Let's get increase our threat again. You know, strike for three. Kill one of these guys. Don't know if this ability triggers or not, so let's just get rid of you then. Unholy Union. This location only, all spiders and orcs gain guard. Oh, come on. Deal two damage to the three different characters. And I lost my hero. So, that was that. We'll have to try this again. Uh, maybe I'll just look at the decks next time around before we try this. Anyway, I will... Um, Take a break here. Thank you very much for watching. Maybe we'll try this first. Okay, just back to this place. All right, fair enough. Thank you for watching.